Good afternoon, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming here at such short notice. Let me apologize as well for the rather inadequate facilities we've set up for you here. But as you know, we didn't get any advance about the need for this press conference. I think I can say without any exaggeration that this is a, a historic and a frankly a game-changing day for Tech Mahindra. And after a challenging period in Satyam's history, we are close to the end of the tunnel, as it were. And I'm very pleased that the Mahindra Group is a part of this satisfying culmination. I want to make clear, though, that this morning Tech Mahindra was declared the highest bidder. We are not yet the winning bidder, which we will be after the CLB has confirmed that. So please take all our comments within that context. We are the highest bidder. We felt that it was important to be transparent and have this discussion with you, given the interest the media has had in this transaction. But once again, all our comments will be made with a certain constraint upon us, given that we are not yet the winning bidder, which we hope to be after the confirmation by CLB. Now bringing this... Uh, for transaction to a closure has been the work of many hands, but I want to first begin by saying that we are extremely appreciative of the way that the government of India and the major regulatory bodies have played their part in ensuring that this crisis was handled promptly, firmly and very transparently. And this is a time when public faith in corporates around the world has been shaken. And I think the exemplary way in which this issue was handled at both governmental and industry levels, I think has done India proud. And I think it shows that free market capitalism can indeed work when it is conducted with integrity and probity and frankly with the appropriate level of vigilance and regulation. I'd also like to acknowledge the government's role again and thank them, as well as the Satyam boards and their advisors, particularly the Honorable Justice Barucha, all of them for their leadership and their impeccable handling of this extremely difficult assignment. They are, every one of them, persons with towering reputations for personal integrity, and they brought that to bear with full force on the conduct and processes involved in choosing the highest bidder for Satyam. As a group, we are very comfortable with this approach. The Mahindra Group has always adhered to the highest standards of corporate governance and transparency and integrity, and all these are what we pledge to bring to the table in all our dealings with Satya. The Mahindra Board has been a great source of guidance and support, and I want to mention especially the unflinching support we have received from our colleagues on the Tech Mahindra Board as well as from British Telecom. I'm most grateful, of course, to the management employees of Satyam, to the competence and capacity with which they have kept their ship afloat in rough waters. And last, but most heartfelt, my gratitude goes out to customers who have shown their belief in Satyam and stayed with the company. I put them last because in a sense they are first and they are key to the future of Satyam. And to them, to the customers, I'd like to say that we bring the Mahindra commitment to total customer centricity to the table. It's a well-known fact by now that one of our mantras in our group is that we want to become, we aspire to become one of the most customer-centric corporations in the world. And to all our customers, present past and potential customers, I would like to say that we will give the highest priority to restoring your confidence and earning your faith in the future of Satyam. I plan to reach out at the appropriate time, personally, to some of Satyam's largest customers, John Chambers of Cisco, Vikram Pandit of Citibank, Fitz Henderson of General Motors, and to as many other customers as I can, assuring them that we will justify their faith in Satyam and in us. 
to all our customers i would like to say that we will give this kind of adherence to your goals and your objectives now faith in the future of satyam is what has driven us to bid for it and once as i said we are confirmed winners our first task will be to build it once again into the great institution that it was to restore its reputation at this time let me be frank nothing is going to come easy but i'm confident that satyam comes with many positives because its employees are highly competent technically and they've always been highly rated for client satisfaction and they bring with them an outstanding delivery model that's second to none we're here to support them to continue doing what they do well within a strong framework of good corporate governance and prudent business practices so ladies and gentlemen in summary i have just one line to say and that is that we've taken on a challenge but we're going to make it work thank you very much and i'm going to request ulhas to say a few words yes 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 come on